Hello students, we are doing the writing section of the October 2020 PSAT. Uh, passage 2 is what we are doing now. Little films with great implications. Throughout the natural world, microorganisms, including bacteria and algae, can organize on surfaces and form colonies called biofilms. Because they can form on both living and non-living surfaces, they are more protected from outside forces than they would be as single organisms. Which choice provides the best transition? Um, generating a sticky substance um, in this arrangement, since most bacteria and, and algae are invisible to the naked eye, um, right, I think they form colonies, right? So the colonies protect them from outside forces uh, better than they would as a single organism. So it's not about generating a sticky substance or forming on living and non-living surfaces or being invisible. So it's C, right? <clears throat> okay. Um, some biofilms can cause health problems and others can have a negative effect on ecosystems. Um, which choice is most consistent with the overall style and tone? Some biofilms can cause health problems, can make you really sick, mess with people's physical well-being, perniciously affect an individual's constitution. So in these kind of questions, you have to choose an option that is not exaggerated right? Like option D sounds really exaggerated or an option that is not uh, formal. Like B and C are very uh, informal sounding, right? So the best answer is option A. These biofilms can cause health problems and others can have a negative effect on ecosystems. While medical and scientific communities have been interested in exploring biofilms, Technical limitations have hampered their efforts, their being a pronoun for communities. So T-H-E-I-R, option D. However, recent research is changing that an international team of biologists and physicists has had great success in its investigation of the subject by focusing on how biofilms form from one type of bacteria, Vibrio um, cholerae. The complex three-dimensional structure of biofilms cannot be studied with traditional microscopes. So the scientists started out by building a custom microscope that allowed them to capture images at different depths within biofilm layers. Special software was then developed to combine these images and reconstruct the layers so the researchers could see each cell in relation to the biofilm as a whole. With these tools, the scientists could witness the size and shape of thousands of cells that live in biofilms at various growth stages. So the best answer when you are conducting a scientific experiment is to observe, right? because that's what the scientists do. They observe the size and shape of thousands of cells. So uh, D is the best option here. This is a word choice question. In fact, the researchers grew Vibrio uh, colliery in a liquid solution in tiny tubes made of glass and silicone and examined the resulting biofilm with their new tools. So this is connected to the previous one. So the best connector would be uh, next because I'm following the processes of the experiment. So it can't be in fact because in fact is kind of used to stress something and there is nothing you want to stress here. It is not however, there is no contrast here. And there is no mention of complications in the previous uh, sentence, right? So next is like the best uh, way to continue. Next, the researchers grew Vibrio cholerae in a liquid solution in tiny tubes made of glass and silicone and examined the resulting biofilms with their new tools. By studying the computerized models, they compiled using images captured by a specially built microscope they found that small groups are typically arranged um, in a single file line, medium groups spread out in an asymmetrical two-dimensional shape, and large groups generally form a three-dimensional cluster. <clears throat> 
Right. So what you are seeing here is the specially built microscope. Is that has that been mentioned? No, it's already given in the previous paragraph that they started out by building a custom microscope, right? So you don't have to repeat that. Um, the writer is considering deleting the underlying portion. Um, yeah, so it needlessly repeats information provided uh, earlier in the passage. So see, we already know that they used a custom uh, microscope. Um, so by studying the computerized models, they compiled, uh, they found uh, that a small group, uh, that small groups are typically arranged in a single file line, median groups uh, in an asymmetrical. And now here we have to choose the correct way to connect this. And here the semicolon would actually work because I have these three things I'm talking about, right? Small groups, medium groups, and large groups. And for each of them, I'm separating the list, items on the list with a semicolon. I've put a semicolon after single file line. So I'll put a semicolon after shape, and then the sentence would finish. So this is normally done when there are, like when the list has big items, it has items that have too many words. So just for clarity, you separate items with semicolons. So, so just the way it is, is correct. Yeah, this is a very rare usage of semicolon though. Normally when we talk about semicolons, we use them to separate independent clauses. Once a biofilm reaches 2000 or more microorganisms, so it has to be reaches because biofilm is singular. So that's C. Uh, the cluster forms a symmetrical and highly organized dome with cells arranged in a dense pattern, providing a growth advantage and optimal access to nutrients. So now I would like providing, but if I want to say providing, I should have a comma after pattern, right? Because the part after providing is not an independent clause. So D can't work because D has a semicolon. Um, I can't say no change because both are independent sentences, the one that finished with pattern and the one that starts with it provides. So I can't have a comma there. So I would go with C, right? I can't use but because there is no contrast here. So C is the best answer. Uh, it, cells are arranged in a dense pattern that provides a growth advantage. Right. Because the researchers were able to track the progression of complexity in biofilm formation, they now have a greater understanding of just what makes these structures unique. Um, and then there is, but they concede that additional studies are needed. As Robin Gerlach, a chemical and biological engineer, engineering professor at Montana State University notes, we are continuing to learn about how to control them better with the knowledge gained from the investigation, scientists may be able to not only develop ways of treating dangerous biofilms, such as bacteria that have become resistant to antibiotics, but also design and build biofilms of beneficial microorganisms, such as dots that can treat wastewater. So I think this paragraph looks at what needs to be done, right? We haven't really reached the end of this investigation. So, so while they have a greater understanding of what makes these structures unique, uh, but they can see that additional studies uh, okay I'm, I'm looking at A and D so A says because the researchers were able to track the progression of complexity they now have a greater understanding which lays the groundwork for future advances that, that's good they have a greater understanding but they can see that additional studies are necessary to understand why fully why biofilms develop. I think I'll go with D, right? Because we are saying that we are continuing to learn about how to control them better. So we that's kind of suggests that there is groundwork that has been laid, right? Um, yeah, and also, okay. Now for the 22nd question, a chemical and biological engineering professor at Montana State University. That's the descriptor for Gerlach. So you need to have a comma after university as well. 
So, yeah, and just after university, not after professor. So that would mean that B is the right answer. Okay, let's grade this. Um, we have to grade from 11 to 22. Okay, D, C, A, D, 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 C, A, D, D, B, C, A, C, B, C, A, C, C, D, B, right? So we got all correct. Great, if you found this video useful, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. More videos coming soon. I'll finish the third and fourth passages in uh, new videos. So do uh, check back later for those. Take care, bye-bye.